Hello and welcome to the TTI Distribution Download, the podcast where we talk about all things happening in the world of electronic components with the specialists of TTI. Thanks, Jim. Hey, everybody, and thanks for plugging into the TTI Distribution Download. I'm Steve Brohoski, and I'm a Connector Business Development Manager at TTI, and I've been in the electronics industry for over 30 years, four of which have been here at TTI. In this episode, we're welcoming my colleague, Gia Hayes, who's Vice President of Mill Aero, and Peter Cook, who's a Product Manager for Amphenol Aerospace. Today's topic will be a discussion around a new, innovative connector called Series 5. So before we begin, um, Gia and Peter, I'm going to ask you first to introduce yourselves to the audience. So Gia, let's start with you, if you don't mind, please. Sure. Thanks, Steve. I am Gia Hayes. I've been in the industry for about 25 years, and I've been working with Amphenol Aerospace for more than half of that. So Peter, we're really looking forward to the discussion. Uh, Would you like to tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Happy to be here, and thank you for having me. I am the product manager for all micro miniature connectors here at Amphenol Aerospace. Uh, That includes Series 5, which we'll be talking about today, as well as 2M and other uh, ancillary micro miniature connectors. That's fantastic. I am willing to bet that most of our listeners are very familiar with mill circular connectors, but I would like to start with maybe some of the history of mill circular connector evolution at Amphenol. So Peter, tell us a little bit about how the 38999 connector evolved. Yeah, great. So I think everybody is really familiar with D38999 connectors, but it really started uh, with 5015, which now we would consider more of a higher power connector. Uh, But through the 1950s, the 5015 connectors um, were the most popular. Uh, As size became more important, as higher density patterns became more desire and higher demand, as they needed to pass more signals, newer series of products were introduced, such as 26482 and 83723. And then that's when 389 really uh, gained its prevalence and popularity. Um, as it began to be introduced and designed into newer applications and newer programs, uh, there, you know, that's where the connector series began to evolve. It now has multiple different configurations, shell styles, coupling methods, and many different derivatives that are that are um, offered under the 38999 series, um, and it still as popular as ever. It's the most prevalent product series across the military uh, market. So that's great. Thanks for that background and, and history, uh, Peter. So how does your new Amphenol Series 5 connector fit into the market that's serviced by the, the D38999 connector? Well, as I, I had just mentioned, um, you know, 38.9 was introduced into the market because there was a higher demand for more density, higher density, more signals. And series five, that our series that we've introduced is just the next evolutionary step in that in that lineage. Um, so it will meet all the series three, 38, nine uh, requirements, but it's going to be lighter. It's going to be small, more compact um, in order to make sure that we're adapting to the aerospace industry's ever changing demands. I know a question that I get asked pretty often is series five a mil spec product? It's not currently uh, a Series 5. Uh, series 5 is not currently a mil spec product. However, it does use uh, pre-existing mil qualified components. As an example, um, it uses 39029 contact part numbers. It also utilizes um, Series 2 389 inserts. And on top of that, it's also compatible with uh, 85049 back shells. So while it's not currently a mil spec, we were able to utilize existing qualified uh, mil spec components in order to develop the design of this new series. So do you ever envision a Series 5 becoming a mil spec product? Uh, possibly. That, uh, we're certainly open to it. Uh, we, we've we consistently proven ourselves to be a supporter of open standards. Uh, we hold many qualifications. And if there is enough demand for an open standard for Series 5, Amphenol is, is certainly supportive of that. I know there's a lot of discussion, especially with the customer base that I support. Can you give us maybe the top three benefits of using Series 5? Yeah. Um, so I guess it really uh, boils down to it's smaller, it's lighter, and it uh, we qualify it to a higher voltage rating than 
uh, 38.9 connectors. So you're going to save up to 20% of your space. You're going to be save up to 50% of the weight and we qualify it to three times the qualification voltage as a standard 38.9 connector. And so typically when you start to reduce your space in the connector world, you, you, you tend to sacrifice on performance, but with series five, you don't have to sacrifice and you can meet all those standard requirements while still uh, reducing your weight in space. Size, weight, and power or swap has becoming increasingly important in this sub-vertical. What are maybe some of the applications that you're seeing used for series five? Really, of course, uh, generically anywhere, right? This is an appropriate connector for any anywhere across multiple platforms, multiple applications. But I would say really it's anywhere in flight. Um, it's currently estimated that for every pound an airline saves, it equates to 14,000 gallons of fuel saved every single year. So obviously if you're in flight, you are going to uh, you know, realize that savings uh, much more profoundly. So applications or programs that are under these you know, certain uh, markets such as eVTOL, um, UAVs, we've had a lot of success in the commercial space market, also missiles, you know, really anywhere where you need to perform uh, at a high level and need to save some space, and weight series five is is a great connector so infinal also has a uh, a connector titled the 2m connector and it's you know billed as one of the smallest connectors that you, that you produce in your particular group can you compare and contrast uh, the differences between the series five connector and the 2m connector for us yeah so prior to us releasing series five 2m was infinal aerospace's uh, micro miniature connector. And there still is a lot of appropriate um, applications for that series of product. Um, and in uh, it is a little bit smaller in some cases also 2M is, but um, you are going to sacrifice on temperature, for instance, on 2M, it's only rated to 175 versus 200C. Um, and you're you're going to have superior vibration or mechanical performance as well as electrical performance when you move to series five. So essentially, you know, they're both micro miniature, 2M801 being the smallest of all the micro miniatures, and series five and 2M805 um, being slightly larger but still micro miniature, whereas series five is going to be superior when it comes to your mechanical and your electrical performance. Since we're talking about performance, does Series 5 perform to 38.9? And are there any test reports that are available? Um, could our customers also get drawings or CAD models? Yeah, great questions. Uh, so we do promise that Series 5 will perform to all the same requirements that are promised for D38999 connectors. We have all the test reports available on our website for any of our customers to evaluate, view, um, use as needed. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, all standard standard catalog offerings under the Series 5 portfolio available on our website. So um, if you need a drawing, if you need a model, you can go to our website, um, you select drawings and models and type in the Series 5 number and it's automatically available to you if needed. Um, so very, uh, convenient and available for anybody that needs to learn anything more about Series 5. I might also add that TTI is stocking the Series 5 connector in various configurations. So I encourage the audience to check out our website or, or contact their local TTI salesperson for more information on this next generation military circular connector system. So with that, I'm going to thank Gia and Peter for joining me today and discussing this innovative Series 5 connector with the audience. We've been planning this podcast for some time now, very excited about the potential for the, the market that is being serviced by this connector across a wide spectrum of applications. Many of the customers that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis are always looking for the next-gen product, and this certainly fits the bill. We look forward to future episodes with Amphenol, including our next series on Vita, connectors, and switches. And thank the listeners for plugging in with us today. And please tune in again for our next TTI distribution download.
that's it for this episode of the TTI Distribution Download. For more information on any of the topics you heard about today, reach out to your nearby TTI branch at 1-800-CALL-TTI or visit us online at tti.com.